Good morning. Uh, welcome to Cherry Detail's YouTube video. Today I got a 2022 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, I'm gonna be performing a six year ceramic coating by myself. So this is a solo detail going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna install System X Pro, which is a six year coating. I'm also gonna be installing the glass. This vehicle is new. So when it comes to new vehicles, it's best to not go too crazy because you don't have to work too hard with new vehicles. Uh, we don't, there's no intense polishing. There's no intense cutting. You're just doing a light and light paint enhancements. That way you can brighten up that clear coat. And then when you apply the, the when you apply the ceramic coating, any ceramic coating, it'll, it'll uh, enhance that gloss that you introduced through the paint enhancement stage. I'm going to show you some before videos of the Tacoma. This car is really new. It's only better. It's only about, a, it's only about a week old. So it's, you know, there's not a lot of work that needs to be done on this vehicle. We just want to make sure it's protected. And because it's new, it's best to get it protected as soon as possible. So that way you can keep this expensive truck in its like new condition for years. Here's before pictures of the Tacoma or before videos of the Tacoma. There, you can clearly see that there is not much imperfections besides maybe the little water spots and some some bug droppings, tree saps, nothing too severe, nothing a light polish can take care of. But you can clearly see that this paint is in really good condition. And remember, it's only about a week old, but who knows how long it's been sitting in the dealership lot. When we start with the wheels, tires, and wheel wells, we're gonna do the fender, work our way to the tire, the meat of the tire, onto the inner barrel of the rim and then onto the face of the rim and then from there moving on to each each and every moving on to each and every part of the the tires when you're washing by yourself it's great to have two wash mitts when you wash by yourself you got to be mindful of how fast the, the water dries on the vehicle especially on guam guam's water is very hard so with all these minerals inside the water if you let that water dry on your vehicle you're going to end up uh you're going to end up adding water spots because you're letting the water dry on the vehicle and it's gonna etch into it. Though. And it's best to wash in the uh, early morning of the day or if you're underneath the garage, get your car underneath the garage and get, get started with the car wash. Uh, this car is new, so I don't think I'm gonna be doing any heavy clay barring. What I'm gonna be doing is running the iron remover around the car when it's done, when it's done, when I'm done doing the hand wash stage, I'm gonna run the iron remover around the entire vehicle, let it dwell on the paint. Uh, that way it can uh, dissolve any embedded minerals or contamination that is stuck inside the paint. Uh, once that is done, I'm gonna feel the paint again and if it needs some clay barring, I'll clay bar the entire car again. But be mindful when you clay bar the car uh, and you go aggressive on the clay bar, you end up gonna probably mar mar your paint and then you're probably gonna want you're probably gonna wonder why are they, these scratch marks or these sanding marks or marring marks are on my cars because you probably used an aggressive clay bar or you probably don't use you didn't use enough lubrication while you're clay barring your vehicle uh, we use Meguiar's detailing clay bar uh, it works really really well there's so many different clay bars out there. This is what I found that works, and not only that, I can get it on the island. Remember, we're on Guam, so shipping is pretty uh, complicated here. Getting stuff to Guam, especially detailing products and chemical, gets complicated. If you're interested in some tools and products that I use in this video, don't forget to check the description down below. So off the back, you probably noticed some beading. This vehicle probably has a wax over it, and the only way I can, I'm assuming it's wax is because it doesn't form that tight bead and it's not uh, as hydrophobic as a ceramic coating is. So I'm gonna show you guys some close-ups. So here is the hood. You can already see the beadings are, it's not a tight ball. It's more, it's, it seems like it's, it's still sticking to the paint. See, it's not like a tight circular bead where it's floating over the surface of the paint. Here you can see it's like still it's it's gripping on to whatever's on it so i'm thinking it's just a wax i mean it is new the dealerships detailers probably put a wax on it so i'm gonna try to remove it so that way it doesn't affect the ceramic coating that i apply i swear i think the longest part of a ceramic coating detail is the preparation the preparation stage uh the preparation stage is the most vital part of any ceramic coating detail and any uh and any uh service labored business 
Uh, if you're going to do the ground, you're going to paint your house, you're going to build a house, you know, preparation is key in order to have a strong foundation. And the strong foundation for this is making sure the car has no, no contaminations whatsoever on the paint. I like to call it naked paint. And then from there, tape up all the black trim, removing any excessive water inside the seams or crevices of the vehicle, and then getting into the ceramic, getting into the polishing stage. So usually with my exterior details, I like to blow the car down and then wipe it. But for this reason, because this is a ceramic coating detail, I'm going to dry the car first using one microfiber uh, drying towel. And then I'm going to go around with my air compressor and blow out all the cracks and crevices. Earlier, you saw me just wipe down the entire vehicle when it was still, when it had a lot of water, and then you saw me blow it down with my air compressor. The reason why I did that is because this car is not ceramic coating or ceramic coated. This car is in for a ceramic coating detail. So this car is, has nothing but a wax on it, and we want to make sure I cannot just blow the water off because all the water will end up just sticking onto the paint still, and it's going to... You know, it's going to be a waste of time. So what I like to do with vehicles that have no ceramic coating on them, I like to wipe them, wipe all the water off to mitigate those water spots and then go attack them, uh, attack the crevices and uh, cracks and crevices and seams within the exterior of the vehicle and blow all that uh, leftover water out. And then that way, you know, you got that way you have the entire vehicle dried properly and you don't you barely you have a minimal drippage within those seams and it's okay if there is because we're going to go around and uh polish the entire vehicle so why do you need to wipe down the vehicle after you're done washing it shouldn't it be cleaned already it is clean but because the soap the iron remover clay lube all that stuff can also introduce oils and uh, residue left behind after the wash and drying stage so with surface prep and alcohol wipe down after you're removing any of those residue left behind especially like oils from your skin remember this paint is now naked so we're making we're making sure everything is completely de uh stripped we're making sure everything is completely stripped off the vehicle from oils wax debris embedded contamination anything that can hinder the ceramic coating or the polishing stage so I got my multi match light eight here, just going around and checking the checking the paint. This paint is immaculate. I got some my, few scuff marks, just a few, uh, nothing too severe. Uh, I probably might not even polish most of this part or most of the parts of the vehicle. Yeah, this paint is immaculate. The, whoever the dealership did a good job in protecting it from the environment. Well, here's just the side of the passenger. This is just the side view of the passenger. Here's the hood. Uh, maybe that's too bright. Let me lower down the brightness, but you can see the hood is still good too. Lower down the brightness. Bring it to 10. Check. Yep. Hood looks really good from the light. I don't know if the camera's picking up the water spots, but they got a few surface water spots, nothing, nothing too crazy. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna go grab my polishers. I'm gonna be starting from the hood and roof and then doing some spot, spot checking on the, some spot polishing on the body, making sure that you know, there's nothing, uh, making sure I get everything in this car. It looks immaculate for the uh, owner. Got some spots like right there. If you can see it there. That's some marks. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Put my finger there. There. There's a mark there right above my fingertip. Right, right there. You see it? Try to get some, get rid of that. Some parts on the hood. Cool. All right, I'm gonna get my polishers and get started on the paint enhancement. All right, so I got my setup. I got my bottle of water, my my polisher, my Roops polisher, my air compressor hose. I got an extra pad there. Today we're gonna, I'm gonna be using Roops Uno One. 
pure ultra finish polish because this vehicle is new it does not need excessive polishing look look at the hood it's it's good it's like i don't even need to touch it but i see uh some minute water spots that i'm going to take care of and some spots around the hood and roof and some of the side fenders front bumper uh, and then from there ceramic coat it but yeah, so this vehicle is new. This new car, uh, this, for new vehicles, we tend to finish vehicles like this a lot quicker than usual, only because it's new. There's, there's not, uh, the vehicle came straight from the dealership. There's no excessive dirt, or there's no excessive uh, swirl marks or water spots. You know, it's very, it's a, it's very, it's uh, in very good condition. We just want to make sure we can make it in better condition and look way better than how it was in the dealership and not only that protect it so when performing a light enhancement it's it's best to use a less aggressive polish like i'm using is uno uh uno pure from uno pure from roops it's an ultra fi ultra finish polish and the reason why i chose that is because this vehicle is new it doesn't need excessive polishing it doesn't need aggressive polishing it just needs to be brightened up remove those surface level water spots and surface level imperfections and then uh that should be it uh we're gonna i'm gonna start from the hood work my way to the roof then uh use my light to inspect the rest of the vehicle so that way i can polish down any imperfections that i see and and then from there, we're going to wipe down everything again with surface prep, removing any residue or uh, removing any residue and oils left from the polish and then get into the ceramic coating application. This is going to be a quick uh, six. This is going to be a quick ceramic coating detail because the vehicle is new. Usually for new vehicles, we tend to finish them within one to two days only because it's new. Uh, if you had your vehicle for like six months, it's still new. But sometimes, you know, now that because it's exposed to the outer world elements, especially here on the island, then we'll probably take a little bit longer only because now it's now it's uh, accumulating those water spots. It's accumulating those swirl marks, the dust, the iron fallout, the red. Uh, the brake, the dust, the iron fallout, you know, anything dealing, uh, anything that's caused from just regular wear and tear. Now it's going to, now with those, that new vehicle that you have for six months, uh, it's going to accumulate over time. We're going to take a little bit longer. And if it's, if it's black, then of course we're going to take a lot longer because black is a very deceiving color, especially depending on what type of black. Black shows a lot. Dark colors show a lot. This is a metallic gray. It's a, it's a medium dark color, not so dark like black, but it's, it's, it, and it's not so light like gray. It's, it still has that that darkness, uh, that dark metallic color to it. So we're gonna do a light polish, brighten up that clear coat, removing any surface level imperfections, and then get into the ceramic coating stage. I hope you guys find this video informational. I hope you guys find this video entertaining. Please don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, press the alert button for any anytime we submit new videos. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys enjoy all the videos I've been creating. Uh, if you guys are, if you have any questions, leave them down in, in the comment section below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Other than that, if you're interested in ceramic coating, don't forget to click the link below. Head over to our website and give me a call. Okay, so let's check our work. All right, still looks really, really good. Got rid of uh, those light spider webbing. Uh, I got some leftover polish on the car that that I didn't really wipe off. It's okay because I'm going to wipe down the car again. I'm just going around making sure I check my work because I don't want to coat the vehicle and then have to remove the coating and then, then polish. And, you know, it's just a whole bunch of mess after that. So you want to make sure before you even coat the car, you want to make sure your work is 100%. And once you think... once. Once you know your your work is good to go and it's cherry, next thing you do, next thing you need to do is just wipe down the entire vehicle, making sure you remove any of those uh, residue from the polish. Uh, like there's a whole bunch. There's a bunch of residue. There's a bunch of polish residue. Residue. There's a bunch of polish residue left on the vehicle. Uh, you want to make sure you can. You want to make sure you remove all of that, unless you have that uh, polish where it's also a primer. But these polishes that I'm using is not a primer, so I'm gonna wipe down the entire vehicle, making sure I remove a majority of the uh, polish residue, and then get ready for the coating. Vehicle looks really good. So I wiped down the entire vehicle. I got my ceramic coating gear ready. I got my two applicator pads. 
ceramic, uh, the ceramic coating. Uh, the f I have two, I like to do a three towel method. So my three towel method is one, your initial uh, leveling towel. And then you have the second one where it uh, removes the residue. That doesn't, that's not the, the, the leftover residue. And then the third one is the last initial buff off, buff, buff off uh, towel. Uh, it's a three towel method. Some people use two towels. Uh, other people use, yeah, some people use two towels. Some people use three towels. I think, I don't know if anyone uses four towels, but I use a total of four towels because when your, fi your first initial buffing towel, when that gets kicked up with, uh, uh, with, when that gets kicked up with ceramic coating, it tends to leave uh, leave behind high spots, or uh, it leaves behind like a shade, which you know it's the ceramic coating. But uh, so, and I, that's what I've noticed through my experience of applying ceramic coating. So now, what I do is I, every ceramic coating I do, I have four towels. Two is my initial leveling towel. I alternate those uh, once I get half halfway through the car as well as my applicator pads my, uh, i have two applicator pads once i get through half halfway of the car i switch out the applicator pad it's just it's just a way to make sure that your your applicator pad doesn't get overly soaked with ceramic coating and you know causes problems during the application phase so when you when you first initially apply the ceramic coating you want to make sure you do at least two to three dabs onto your applicator pad that's just like priming the polishing pad you want to make sure the applicator pad is primed and then you use uh, then you start with the cross you start with either the hood or the roof make sure you work your way you work your you work make sure you work the work from the top to the bottom because you don't want to work on the side of the door and then you step on the ladder then your thigh hits the part that's just recently coated so you don't want any of that so it's best to start from the top work your way to the bottom uh, start from the front or to the, or the rear it doesn't matter as long as you start from the top work your way down to the bottom when you apply you apply it in a cross hatch pattern where you go up and down you go north and south and then you go east to west you know in that motion uh you're you're covering the entire area as even as possible leaving no high spots and then when you go in with your first initial buffing towel or your first initial leveling towel you sp your first initial leveling towel you use that to level the entire coating uh you don't have to go left to right but what i like to do is i like to work in because you don't want to spread the coating out and then you have more areas to more surface area to wipe you want to uh wipe the coating in towards you or towards the center of the area that you applied it and then you use your second towel to wipe off the remaining residue then you grab your third towel to completely catch everything that's left behind and you, you usually wipe that down really good and then with Surat with uh, system x there's a uh, with system x there's a uh flashing time and you know and there's also a time where you can also go back and fix your mistakes so it's best to when you do the hood if you're doing any ceramic coating i would recommend do the hood and then uh, when you're done doing the entire hood, wipe it down one more time just to make sure you catch anything that's left over before it starts to harden and dry. Because once it starts to harden and dry, then in order to remove it, you're going to have to either polish it or wet sand it off. And that's, that's going to become a real hassle. You know, that's a pain in the neck for us. And that's why we don't like making mistakes because it just, it just prolongs the detail, you know. And then you have to explain to the customer why you have to hold their vehicle for a little bit longer only because you messed up. Well, and so that, and that just all comes through experience. Experience, you know, uh, we've been applying ceramic coatings for so long, and uh, with with the proper training, the proper mentor, uh, we're able to keep moving and applying ceramic coating effectively, effective as possible. You know, without anyone coming back, and if they do come back, it's mainly for some more detailing services. You know, or uh, yeah, it's, it's if, if if customers do come back, it's mainly for just det it's more for uh, uh, more services or different detailing services and that we offer. And we're here, we're located in Jigo. So if you're ever interested, you can always stop by our shop. We're open Monday through Sunday. So we're open seven days a week, but all by appointments only. If you're interested, please, please give me a call. If you want to stop by on the weekend, please give me a call. Weekdays, you can stop by anytime you want. Weekends, uh, it's all, it, weekend quotations are all scheduled appointments. So if you're interested in that, please let me know. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the show. Right now, you're looking, you're seeing me apply the ceramic coating all over the entire, the all over the entire vehicle of this 2022 Tacoma. Uh, this detail took me about all day. 
I started since eight o'clock and uh, and I kept going ordering until it was finished. I think I finished by the t by the time I finished, it was four 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 thirty five o'clock, and that was like an eight eight to nine hour detail ceramic cooling detail. And this is for particularly new. This is for new vehicles, older models. We typically take longer only because there's uh, deeper imperfections, there's more imperfections, and you know we want to make sure the car looks as best as we possibly can without damaging anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below if you're if you have any questions. I'll get to them as soon as possible. Uh, if you're interested in any products, tools and products uh, to help you wash your car, don't forget to check the description. I have a bunch of I have a, a bunch of lists uh, and tools and products uh, that I, that we use here at Cherry Detailing to wash the view, to perform an exterior detail. Okay, I am complete with the ceramic coating application. Uh, the only thing I need to get done next is the window coating. So I'm going to let the body dry for a little bit, maybe about another 20 minutes and, you know, take a break, drink some water, uh, do the windows and then the tires. And then from there, oh yeah, the door jams as well. And then we're good. After that is just uh, curing time and then waiting till the uh, curing time and then wait for the customer to pick up his car tomorrow on Monday. I'm done. Uh, I finished with. I just finished the windows. I did the, so. Just a uh, rundown exactly what I did today. Uh, it was a long day. It's already. It's about four o'clock. It's been yeah four thirty. It's eight. It's been eight hours uh, doing this detail. Uh, so the uh, the beginning of the day, I did the exterior detail, which is the wheels, tire, wheel wells, wash, uh, decontam uh, decontaminate. And then from there, we do the surface prep to remove any oils and then tape up any, tape up any black trim that, that can be possibly stained. And then after that, I did the light paint enhancement, went around the entire vehicle doing a light polish, removing all those surface level imperfections, which was very, barely anything, almost barely nothing. There was nothing. There was really nothing on the vehicle besides the hood and the roof uh, with the water spots. And then after that, I did the... Uh, ceramic coating application. I did the face of the rims, the whole entire exterior and the windows. Uh, now it's time to put on some tire dressing, uh, throw it out, roll it out to the sun and I'll show you guys some after results of how the vehicle looks like with the ceramic coating on it now. And then from there, we're, we're gonna notify the customer, let them know that his car's ready for pickup on Monday. So that's tomorrow. If you're, if you're interested in a ceramic coating, don't forget to click the description now or click the link in the description below. Head over to our website and check out all the different types of ceramic coating uh, details that we do have to offer here on Guam. Uh, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that notification button. Uh, whenever we push out new videos, you'll get alerted. Uh, if you're interested in any of the tools and products that I used to wash the vehicle, they're, they're, li they're listed in the description below. Other than that, uh, if you guys like this, if you guys like videos like this, please hit that like button. It'll, not it'll notify me to make more videos like this. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching and peace out.